Hey, what's up friends and welcome to the gentleman's journey. In this video, we're going to be cleaning the captains by Thursday Boot Company. Guys, this is a long awaited video. Some of you guys have talked about it on my channel. And so let's get into it. So over here, I have my tobacco with the Storm King outsole. And over here, I've had these guys for several years now. This is the brown with the traditional outsole. So friends, they have a little bit different process, but both of them start the same. So what you want to do, one of the first things is just grab the boots and drop them on a hard surface. What's that going to do? It's going to shake off all the loose dirt and it's going to get some of that big rocks off. So up next, we're going to grab a horsehair brush and we're just going to brush them vigorously and try to get some more of that loose dirt off. Now friends, as we go to start grabbing that horsehair brush and getting the dirt off those boots, I just want to cover real quickly some of the products I use so you know where we're headed. Now guys, this is my horsehair brush. I use this beforehand to get all the dirt off and then on some of the products after you apply them, I give it just a quick buffing and it gives it a little bit of a shine. The next thing we need, pretty basic guys, is water. However you end up doing this, we need some water to go with the saddle soap. Now friends, I use saddle soap. Thursday Boot Company, they have that cobbler's choice and they have their own leather cleaner so we're using the kiwi and then i use two different little tools to start cleaning the boot over here this is a little applicator brush now guys a lot of people put on their waxes and different polishes with these i like to use them to clean and then to get into some tight spaces a good old toothbrush and after that i like to wipe it down there's nothing like an old t-shirt pretty basic there and then we get into the different conditioners that i use so first up this is saphir leather greasy cream now guys i've been rocking this for quite some time it's running a little low so that reminds me i need to put in a new order but guys i really like this i actually use rubber gloves when i'm putting it on because it'll leave your hands a little brown and that's just not a good look for any gentleman the next one most of you guys probably know Venetian shoe cream. I got this in the brown. One of the noticeable differences I see is that the Venetian shoe cream actually leaves it a little bit of a high gloss on there, a little bit more shiny, uh, but I really like this stuff just as well. Last but not least, I put on this Phoebe's shoe dressing. Guys, this is just gonna clean up that edge around the boot. And as you'll see, the edges on those brown captains are pretty rough. So I like to put this on there. It just gives it that extra touch and I think it looks really good. So friends, now that's the products that I use. I'm keen to know what are the products that you guys use in your boot routine. I'd love to hear about that in the comments below. And as you're scrolling down, make sure and check out the description. It's gonna have a link to all these products. You can head over to Amazon and pick you up one of them today. And so friends, one of the first things we're gonna do before we even hit it with the horsehair brush is we're doing a deep clean today. And so I'm gonna take the laces off. Now these are those Kevlar blend laces that I've replaced. My flat ones have actually burnt out a long time ago. And then I went ahead and ordered a second pair. I swear by just always having a second set of laces around. That way, no matter what, when those suckers break, you don't have to worry about calling up Thursday and waiting for shipping. Uh, you just got some coming. And these boots last so long that, you know, they're gonna outlive several pairs of laces. So we're gonna get these guys unlaced and just do it up right. All right, got those tobaccos on lace too. Now guys, I actually like to clean these a bit, so I'm gonna drop them in the soapy water here a little bit and let them dry out before I put them back on. But at this point, I just grabbed the horsehair brush and these are the tobaccos with that rugged outsole. Guys, this is the rough and tough leather. And so I'm just brushing it really quickly to get all that dirt off. Uh, I've really let these things go, guys. Take a look here as I'm cleaning how I've let these rough and tough leather go. And then check out my captains. I've really let those go, especially check out around the toe and some of these rough scratches and, and cuts I got in there. So that one's clean. And now I'm going to grab the uh, brown captains here with that kind of like a day night outsole there. And I'm going to just rough these up and get a lot of that dust. Guys, these ones have been sitting in the back of the shelf a while because I've been getting some new boots and I haven't had as many occasions to wear these out. Uh, but I'm getting them cleaned up so I can go to church looking really good. But friends, I love the heck out of these boots. All right, so both of these have gone through that little treatment and now let's get some saddle soap on them. With the saddle soap, guys, what I like to do is get my brush a little wet 
and then I start mixing up a bit of that. And then I even like to use the lid there to make a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess there. And so I can kind of keep this separate from the main water, uh, but really just get into your own groove. And that's the point that I want to remind you guys that really this is a time where, you know, you sit back with a cold one or grab me some coffee. I usually grab all my boots on a Sunday night and just go to town. It's kind of therapeutic in a way. You just kind of let your mind drift off. Maybe you're watching a good TV show or the football game and just a good time to grab these guys out and give them some care. Friends, it's just like anything else in life. If we give it a little bit of care from time to time, they're gonna give back a lot more than we do. Guys, these, this leather seems to give back 110%. 24 seven, you know, I've got up a boot collection now where I can switch boots out. I don't have to wear the same ones every single day. And so that's a good thing too. You know, maybe not cleaning all years the same night, maybe leave one set out that you'll wear the next day. That way you can go ahead if you want and just let the leather dry overnight. Guys, it really doesn't need that. I can let this dry for a couple hours and then it's ready for conditioner, but you know, some companies say like 12 hours or something they recommend. Uh, so just cleaning, working all that saddle soap in. Again, I can grab this little toothbrush and I can get in really close around these 360 degree Goodyear well. Uh, you know, that really saves it because you don't want to have to replace that outsole sooner than you, you would need to. Certainly the closest to the ground and kind of a little tight corner there to get stuff really worked in there. So friends, this is actually a part that I kind of like to do over the sink. Sometimes I'll just make sure and clean them over by the sink. And then once they're clean, set them out to dry, get a couple pairs of boots, two or three pairs, just sit by the TV and uh, go to polishing. So at this point, this boot, I've went ahead and cleaned it really well. And I like these old t-shirts. Everyone's has a few old t-shirts lying around and so I save them and I can just wipe it down get all that excess water you really don't want the drying time to be longer than it has to be I'm not trying to break these in or anything leaving extra water on there so I'm just wiping this down and I'm gonna set that aside and friends this is as far as we go with the rough and tough leather I did a video not too long ago about these boots I caught some heck online, and rightfully so, I reckon, because I told you guys how to clean them with a conditioner, and Thursday Boot Company actually sat down in the comments and told me, hey, these ones don't need any kind of conditioner. In fact, they don't recommend it. Guys, they don't want you to put anything on here. Now, there's a cream. It's it's Saphir brand, but it's not this one. I'll link it down in the description below. Guys, if you feel like you just got to put some cream on there, that one's supposed to be for delicate leathers. Now Thursday says if you want to take it a step further past cleaning it with saddle soap or any kind of leather cleaner that you should take it to your cobbler. Now guys, the only thing I would say is check out that Saphir uh, Medal Delore. I can't even say it. I'm going to put the link in the description. Guys, that one's supposed to be A-OK -okay on all kinds of different leathers. So if you just got to do something, hey, I wouldn't mind throwing some of that on there. But with this rough and tough leather, it's just not the look you're going for. So it's that ultimate patina, guys. The way the leathers develop, they just don't want you putting cream on there. So guys, that's where we're gonna stop with the rough and tough leather with that awesome Storm King outsole. These boots are A-OK, -okay, but it is for the captains. So we're gonna clean this one up. We're gonna let it dry. And then we're gonna talk about what kind of conditioners I use on my captains. Now I've had these for a couple of years and I've tried two so far. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys use to condition your Thursday captain? Now, if you haven't noticed, I got shoe trees in all these boots right now. I think they're something that you should go with every single night, but when you're cleaning and conditioning, I think it's even more important because your boots are wet, you've just cleaned them, and now they're gonna be taking some kind of shape. What better time for these things to rest with some shoe trees inside them? So. Guys, that's what we're doing there. We're gonna lace those up here in a minute once they're dry and looking good. But today I'm actually gonna go with the Saphir. So I think this is a product that hasn't gotten quite enough attention over the Venetian shoe cream. I'm not quite looking for that sheen, that polished look. 
So I'm going to go with this and show you guys how it's going to look. And let me know in the comments if you like it or if you think I should have went with the Venetian shoe cream. So you probably noticed I got my gloves on. That's again because I think these things leave your hands just a little bit dark and that's not a good look. Uh, but I have a, another t-shirt. Like I said, guys, I like these. Uh, there's different methods of wrapping it around your finger and just trying to get it just right. This stuff, just like Venetian, is supposed to be good enough that you can apply it just with your fingers, but I think it's kind of nice to have something between me and that. There's lots of different cloths. I know that on the Thursday website, you can see some of their products and they sell different stuff. I have a few from Red Wing, but uh, this is my typical routine. This is the gentleman's journey. As I tell you guys all the time, this is my journey. I'm taking you with me. I think it's fun to have a little engagement down in the comments and just let me know your guys' process. This has worked for me for a couple years with this Saphir product. I love the heck out of it. Uh, I think it smells great. It smells by far much better than Venetian shoe cream. Uh, the ingredients are really good. I'm finding Saphir, a company that I can trust. You know, I first got onto Saphir by Kirby Allison. If you haven't checked out some of his stuff, head over to YouTube and check him out. Quite a cool guy. Uh, but I'm actually missing the heel on purpose because again we have that feebings we're going to put on there but if you're just doing a regular clean and you don't have that stuff just go ahead and just hit that and it's going to polish that because of course that's a stacked leather heel and it needs some conditioner too. I don't know what kind of climate or where you guys live. If you're in a really salty area you like to take your boots and go walk down the beach a lot. You know, you might want to be cleaning them more often. If you're just wearing them back and forth to work in an office setting, you're making sure to avoid splashing in puddles. They might last you a lot longer in between cleans. Or if you're like me, these ones got pushed to the back of the closet and they're long overdue for a good cleaning. All right, and so that's about it on this one. I feel like that one's in a good spot. After a few minutes, I'm going to grab the horsehair brush and just give it a quick little brush, kind of lift those fibers of the leather just give it a quick little shine. These things, I'm going to lace them up and they're going to be off to the races. I reckon that's a good looking boot. Friends, smash the like button if you agree. So with clean hands, I'm going to grab the horsehair brush and just buff these guys out real quick like. And then we're on to the edge dressing. Guys, I think that's something that's pretty fun to talk about because I don't see it a lot in different boot cleaning videos and it just takes it to that next level. Again, sometimes I don't even bother taking the laces off. I'll just hit it with the horsehair brush, take a little bit of polish, clean up the toes on these guys, maybe hit the heel a little bit, and then I'm out the door. But on a deep clean like this, I like to go through it and just make sure that I got all my bases covered. Now there is stuff for these really deep scratches. I noticed that even those aren't gone. Now these aren't the dressiest boots, like maybe a black cap toe, Oxford, a shoe where you really just want it to shine, you're putting waxes on there, several layers, and you want to uh, just see your face glow in that sucker, but you really could if you wanted to. I like the patina. Those are some battle scars that I have there, uh, but just so you know, that stuff's not going to take out some deep scratches like that. Now onto the feebings. Guys, this stuff is a little messy, so if you're doing this in your living room or over the kitchen table, I say get something out and cover it up maybe even like a plastic trash bag, whatever you gotta do to make sure that you don't take off your spouse or just get yourself in any kind of trouble and start staining the furniture. Uh, it's like anything else, a little bit goes a long way. And so it has this cool little applicator brush on the tip of it. I like to basically get as much off as I can and then just come real nice along that edge. And so it's just gonna seal that up. It has that dye, and I just think it's a really good color. I actually go ahead and cover the rubber too, because if you look really closely, you can see uh, little spots on the rubber, and so it doesn't hurt the rubber, so I actually cover just the entire thing so it has a nice little even layer coat there. This stuff will get on your hands too and stain it, so. If you got a big meeting, you're presenting tomorrow, you got something going on at the office, you want to make sure that you might want to wear gloves out on this part too. That way you don't 
be that guy and come to the office looking kind of goofy. People start asking questions that you don't really want to answer. And there it is, friends. Guys, I couldn't be happier with this process. These boots are looking sharp. I really like the simple process of this rough and tough leather. You know, this outsole is holding up so well. I've had them just a few months and I am loving these boots, guys. Make sure and check them out. But over here at the original Trusty Captains, guys, these things are handling the age so well. I just couldn't be more happy with these boots. I'm really a patina type of guy, and I just think that they're coming in to a really good look. Now, the funny thing is I've never quite understood why they call these brown. I'm seeing maroon, I'm seeing kind of a purple color. Friends, this is brown. So I picked up some brown paint over there at the store, arts and crafts, and that's just a solid chocolatey brown color. And this is far from that. But I've always been happy. I felt that they've gone well with several different outfits and I'm still pleased with them. So guys, that's my journey. Again, I would love to hear your journey. Tell me, how are you guys cleaning your Thursday captains? Let me know in the comments below. Friends, make sure and check out the description. You're gonna find product links. We'll have a product link for these captains over here. And so friends, on these guys, you're gonna have to head over to Thursday Boot Company directly and pick yourself out a pair. But guys, if you haven't already, make sure and check out the videos we've done on these. I think I've done two on each of them. So. I did an unboxing on these originally, some old technology, old camera skills, but really fun little video there. And then I did a one year review over on these guys. I did an unboxing and I took them out walking around. And then I went up to an icy waterfall. I put some yak tracks on them and ran the dogs and stuff and we had a bunch of good times up there. And friends, if you haven't, make sure and check out our latest video. I had to get a pair of winter boots. Now I live in Colorado and I didn't have a good set of winter boots. Guys, as much as I love all these boots, they just don't handle the cold, cold temperatures. Your feet get cold after some period of time. So I got some LL Bean Bean Boots and I couldn't be happier. So check it out as we go up to the mountains and we just run around. I've been running them a bunch ever since that video and they keep my feet warm and toasty. Guys, we got a bunch of great content coming up. If you haven't already, guys, why would you not subscribe to one of the best boot channels on YouTube? So we'd appreciate this subscribe. Until the next video, guys, God bless you. Put those boots on, and hey, don't forget to polish them from time to time. We'll see you in the next one.